USA Gymnastics released the results of an internal investigation today that outlines an organization that has done little to protect young athletes and even less to report accusations of abuse. It comes as national team physician Larry Nasser faces a firestorm of civil lawsuits along with state and federal charges of sexual abuse and possession of child pornography. This is a story that First Coast News has been following for some time now. Over the last 20 years, hundreds of gymnasts have reported abuse at the hands of authority figures associated with USA Gymnastics. And today's report reveals there could be even more. It calls for a complete overhaul within the organization. So tonight, I reached out to Nancy Hogshead Maker, a local civil rights attorney and Olympian about this issue. She sent me this statement that reads in part, the Daniels report flatly states that USA Gymnastics must adopt a cultural change in order to protect athletes from abuse. I agree, but would view many of her recommendations through the perspective of providing more power and authority to athletes. Culture change in youth sports must involve shifting power away from an absolute authoritarian coaching model and towards a model based on mutuality and athletes' rights. So I also asked her tonight what this means for other sports, and she pointed out that reports of this nature have already been conducted in volleyball and swimming. Hmm, that's interesting. It is. Okay. Well, it's a story.